hear Richard first. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you. Yes, sir. Uh, Thanks for proving her I, I think the chairman kind of said everything I was going to say in my bullets. Uh, but just to give you an idea about, about the numbers that he's talking about, uh, as far as the, you know, what's gone into the portfolio and what's come out, uh, and we have these numbers. Uh, overall, the, the total contribution that has gone into uh, the portfolio uh, is around $147 million. The total that we've withdrawn uh, since we started withdrawing, it is over 200 million. So, just to give you an idea of, of uh, I guess, the, uh, the investment side of it, it has been growing. We've actually withdrawn more than what was put uh, into the portfolio, and, and yet we still have uh, uh, around 266 million dollars left. Uh, there was a question that uh, uh, a gentleman over here asked about what was your purpose, and, and I, I uh, thanks for pointing that out. Uh, CRA purpose. When, when CRA, we, we actually encouraged several years ago for the CRA to, to organize a forum. Why? Because you guys represent a large portion of, of the, the population. Uh, you have a strong voice. Uh, there, there is uh, strength in numbers. And when it comes to you know, legislation or, or, or ideas about retirement uh, issues, uh, especially those things that are going to affect your, your pensions, uh, your voices go much, much, much further than ours. When, when we go talk to our leaders, we are another agency begging for money. Uh, whereas you are the voters. Um, as far as the uh, uh, the reduction of benefits that uh, Oscar asked me to touch on, we don't want to reduce your benefits. We want to continue your benefits. But the reality is the, uh, we are hardly getting any uh, financial support in, by the way of contributions. Uh, to give you an idea of what we've actually received uh, in the past 12 months, we have received about $400,000 in employer contribution for, for local employees. That's $400,000. Uh, there, there's no way $400,000 will support $63 million in payouts. Uh, as far as, I, I know there's some emails that were going around about, uh, you know, are, is a federal employee sheriff paid, uh, that, that is paid up. Uh, that, that's the part that's being paid consistently. Uh, just to put it in perspective about what, what our chairman said about they pay up before the court hearings, uh, it's mostly just the federal portion. So uh, I just wanted to touch on those numbers to kind of to put things uh, hopefully a little bit more uh, into perspective. So, Ron, if we may open the question. Oh, yeah, please. There's been a talk about um, extending, well, the retirement fund theoretically, or the pension funds are going to expire in three years approximately, and there's been talk of extending that period by reducing the amount of the pension that we get every month. And there's been talk of reducing it by 25% or 50% or some number in between. Um, how are you going? Are you going to ask us? How is it going to be determined which figure of reduction is going to apply? Are you going to ask us that here tonight? So are you going to explain it so that we can give you our sense of, of how we feel about that, or um, how is that going to be decided? It's a very good question. Thanks. Uh, we are we are not going to ask you to uh, decide on that tonight. Um, the the way we we foresee this happening is uh, through the court process. Uh, as as you all may be aware, we uh, uh, filed a uh, this thing called a, a motion for reconsideration and equitable relief. Uh, and 
And in that request, uh, it, it doesn't recommend one option. Uh, we basically state the, uh, the facts. Uh, we have been forced into a corner here uh, where just, there's just no support, financial support, not enough to, to meet the payouts. Uh, and with the assets that we have, uh, we're looking at three years or less. Uh, uh, but to your point uh, about how it's going to be decided, um, what we've requested, uh, well, first of all, CRA is uh, an intervener. It, uh, Judge Govendo has allowed the CRA as an organization uh, to intervene in, in the lawsuit in, uh, in front of his court. And so uh, we, we've asked for him to uh, order that a group, uh, including representatives from the, the CRA uh, Retirement Fund and uh, uh, whoever else that he might feel would be beneficial to that group, uh, and, and to, to decide or at least discuss uh, what would be the appropriate amount. Uh, what that amount would be as far as cuts, I, I, I couldn't tell you right now. Uh, yes, uh, um, I'm a little confused. You know, if I would go to court and you were the judge, and you told me to pay Ruth $10, mm -hmm. and I never paid her her $10, I'd be in contempt of court. And the judge might send me to jail if I'm in contempt. So I, I'm, a, I'm trying to figure out why the government or whoever is supposed to owe us the money isn't paying the money that the judge said they should be paying. How are they getting away with it, right? It's like it seems pretty I think it's a... Uh, like it's a little bit more complicated than that. And I will try to answer it. I know that the last court hearing, we were very close to being very sure on what the next action is, because that is a very good question, sir. And it's not that we were beating around the bush, but we were going down court procedures. What's next? What's next? What's next? What the, play, what the defendants are saying, we have to go back and challenge it. And we were going back in court. So we're playing footsie. Okay, we were saying this is what we want, they're saying this is what we want, and we keep fighting. So I'm not a lawyer, but I think you can understand what I'm saying. So last hearing, we were supposed to have gone in there October 2nd, or, yeah, that's October 2nd, we're in October yeah, and get more finite information. And I know that in that hearing, we were supposed to get property listing from the CNMI government and a lot of clarifications on the judgment. I don't know what I can say or not say because we're in court, mm -hmm. but there were a lot of things we were trying to do to clarify. And yes, you're right, sir. Why don't you just pay me? And I'll just say some things that some of you already saw in the paper, everybody's talking about. Somebody, because uh, it's a different form of government. The retirement fund is just watching the fund for you. We have the executive government that's supposed to make sure the money comes to us. And then we have the legislature that appropriates the funds. So it's going through all those loopholes, trying to find a way to have that money really reach us. And I know, I must say that I know that I get so passionate, but it's, we're all doing our best to try and get it done. It's just that the legal system that we're in right now is sending us in circles. I'm not saying we're not going to get there, but I could have sworn I thought that by October 2nd, and Consul, I don't even know if we're even still having that hearing, but we were supposed to have a hearing with, on October 2nd. So if that's already moved and it's gone, so all we're hoping now is that if uh, we are successful in the remand, if I should say that, and it comes back down, we should be able to see a lot more light. But I was really crossing my finger that that would have given us more light on how strong our judgment was, because that's all it was about. Is your judgment strong? Well, you got a judgment already, right? Yes. Yes. Isn't there a judgment? Yes. Yes. There's a judgment. Yes. Yes. There's yes. a judgment. Yeah. Why? Why isn't the judgment uh, followed follow or, or pursued? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I, the answer is that the the judgment cannot be carried out because the legislature has to appropriate the funds to give it to the retirement fund and the legislature that's, that's refuses. That's a long history. We, we all know that. Yeah. When the law well, was passed to establish the retirement fund, there was something in the law that says that the employer must be contributing at a normal mm -hmm. rate or whenever the money is due. Uh, I, was, I was employing too at the time mm -hmm. and I was paying by year. But uh, after 86, when I retire, I, I don't know whether, you know, payment has continued. 
I understand from talking to some of the legislators that every budget year, they include the money that is supposed to go to retirement fund. The question is, why isn't the money paid to retirement fund? Yes, yes um, no, Mr. Cabrera. No, no, I'm not finished yet. Okay. You know, this is the only reason why I yeah. wanted to be in this board. Because, you know, I, I, I think there's, there's all kinds of things that, you know, uh, it's, it's all treated as a one unit of government, I suppose, mm -hmm. the retirement, but it isn't. Mm -hmm. yes. The trustee sits the there no. entrusted yep. with the retiree yes, money. You're supposed to be protecting the money. Every time the governor doesn't pay, yeah. you got to take him to court. Yeah. From way back, 20, 25 years ago, you know, if you don't get the money you're supposed to get, I, 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 I know what's happening because the money has been invested in, in, in the market and there's so much millions already, I think the governor said, well, you have so much money, you don't need our money, so we don't have to pay you. But that's not the answer. The law says you gotta pay it, you gotta pay it. And if we had been receiving that money for, for that long a time, we would have maybe one billion dollars already. There was, a, there was a meeting sometime back at Nauru building. I raised a concern about the investment that was lost. It was close to $100 million. Mm -hmm. There was something in the paper, and I asked the, the, the fund, what happened? Have, have you guys diversified your investment? Mm -hmm. Have you been investing money in, in maybe uh, you know, questionable uh, investment? Do you have good investors working for you, or money for fund managers? <laughs> you know, to lose $100 million is a lot of money. Maybe somebody is not keeping, keeping a, a close tap or being vigilant on how the money is being invested. Then we see in the paper that you know, all your money managers and, and, and consultants and whatever you are, are, are leaving because of a particular law that was passed. Uh, Mr. Cabrera, the, uh, you're absolutely right. Uh, every year there is an amount that's budgeted. Mm -hmm. uh, for FY11, that amount was about 16, 17 million dollars. Uh, what I reported to you earlier, uh, the amount that actually came to the retirement fund for the local employees was around $400,000. So yes, you're right. Uh, the money is just not coming to the retirement fund despite uh, us taking it to court and, and I'm sure you're aware uh, we've taken it to court. Uh, as far as the hundred million dollars uh, lost uh, that, that you mentioned, uh, uh, if uh, I guess you mentioned it was in the normal building so that was, that was many years ago uh, before my time. Uh, but I also reported earlier that uh, the total that was uh, contributed to the retirement portfolio was around $147 million. So if we had ever lost $100 million, uh, we would have been broke 15, 20 years ago, maybe even sooner. So I, I, uh, I, I don't think we ever lost that $100 million. Uh, Maybe. Uh